that's my shed there or shop this is all the mess I have in my yard right now this is my driveway I think it's time to clean all this up And this is the inside of my shed. Get 10% off the value of your installation project before taxes. Start your kitchen roof. The mess I have here. That's a bike I started doing a 48 volt, 1500 watt electric BMX bike, fat tire bike. It's buried right now. I have no place to move whatsoever inside here. Got my big screen TV I don't even watch because it's, I can't watch it. It's all blocked in. You guys, there's a turtle under me, I think. My 3D printer. So I'm starting to build the outside walls for my new shop around the old shop. And what I'm doing is just laying skids down, leveling, leveling them out with uh, drainage, drainage stones. I don't own the house, so I can't dig into the ground to put um, posts or anything for the foundation. So this is the way I'm going to do it. This is the way the old one was put up, and it's lasted two years, so. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to continue and do all four walls and then tear the, this roof down. This is where I'm at with this shed right now, or my going to be workshop. It's a mess here. Here's my backyard. Everything is all over the place. Let me just show you what it looks like on the inside right now. It's just a complete mess in here. That side there um, is going to be my woodworking spot. So, it's a slow process because of my illness, my pancreatitis, but I'm getting there. Hopefully today I can get the, the roof on, at least the plywood on the roof, because uh, tomorrow it's going to rain. I had to put a temporary tarp up on the top, because it, it's been pouring like crazy these past few weeks and trying to get the inside cleaned out so I can start putting the plywood up on the walls this is my old walls they were made out of uh, skids try to hang a shelf through on on this wall here you couldn't find I had it covered with a tarp you couldn't even find a spot to screw a screw into I'm trying to clear the inside out now anyway doesn't look like it but it's getting there put the skylight up And I have those uh, red blankets over there because when I sit in here at night, it's like a freeze or so. I'm trying to stop the draft from coming in. This section over here is where I dump everything. Uh, that's going to be the woodworking section. 
and everything is piled up in here under tarp so this is going to be I'm going to leave this section here for last I'm trying to get all this done inside here so I can um, so I can sit at night and start uh, doing some other projects I still need to tear this wall down this is the old wall as you can see I don't, this is a lot of garbage in the way I'm doing the new wall just on the outside of this one it's hard because I, I'm doing this all by myself cutting drilling putting the wood up up and down ladders and with my pancreatitis I get tired quick so that's why it's taken me quite a long time to do it but eventually when it is done I'll be able to go on to uh, other projects and have uh, put up more recent put up more videos more often on YouTube for you guys Anyway, it's coming along. Yeah, but like I said, it's it's a slow process. And that's why I'm taking quite a bit of time to put videos up. Because uh, I'm not going to work on any other projects until this shed is done. And this way I can work on projects inside here. It's been raining for like two weeks in a row here in Toronto. It's crazy. And it's cold at night. I, I do have a propane heater here. And I just ran out of propane right now. I have a little electric one underneath my uh, desk where I sit at the computer here. And that keeps me a little bit warm. Yeah, so as I said, it's really, it's a slow process for me. Because I'm doing this all by myself. But um, eventually it'll get done and I can go on to other things. I'm not going to be showing any more of me actually, actually building it, the, uh, finishing up the shed, because it just takes long for me to edit the videos and and everything. I, I just want to get this done, and uh, so I can, like I said, so I can go on to other things. And then once it is 
almost finished and everything, then I'll make a video and show you guys how it came up out. But until then, um, yeah, I'm just going to continue working on this and hopefully once this is done I can come up with more videos and start posting more often on uh, YouTube for my subscribers. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.